Welcome back. Well, young South African scientists have struck gold at the equivalent of the Olympic Games for young entrepreneurs. Well, young boffins from Limpopo won for their concept of using cow dung to power a gas stove. And pupils from Valcom High School in the Free State were awarded for their recycling and conservation initiatives. This includes an affordable water recycling device and a pack to grow food for the poor. Well, for more, I'm joined now by Klolo Klopo, who is the Teenpreneurship Development Program Project Coordinator and a pupil, of course, Junior Bankram. And uh, welcome to Morning News Today. Congratulations. First of all, you are beaming. You've also come home with gold. Uh, Junior, we'll, we'll start with you. W uh, you were part of the, the Valcom lot that, that went to the Philippines. Tell yes. us, uh, your project involved the recycling of, of, of water and then providing those food packs. Tell us how, yes. how you came about that idea. Um, the idea came about when we realized that we had a water shortage in our community. And what we realized is that we could use the gray water that comes out of our bathtubs and the washing machines to actually water our gardens. Mm -hmm. So the traditional method was to take the, a bucket and take the water out of your bathtub and then throw it on your garden. But then that was very lengthy. So we wanted a very effective way in order to get that gray water onto your plants. So then what we did was we started brainstorming and we were already involved with the competition, the stage, um, competition. Mm. So then what we did was we worked with our mentors and they helped us to come up with a product that will help, help us bridge the gap between getting your bath water from your bathtub to your plants. Well, Tolohelo, this is more than just a school project. I mean, this is entrepreneurship. This is something that they've taken out to the community. How successful has it been so far? Uh, you? Thank you so much for having us, uh, Yveta. It's been really successful because, I mean, these are teenagers uh, saying, how can we help? Because like we were saying, we were discussing it just before we came here to say, the greatest threat is everybody thinking that the next person will save the planet. Mm. So now these are teenagers coming together and saying, but how can we do? How can we become part of this? It's been really successful. The response they're getting from the people in the community has been amazing and yes. Okay, well the other team from Lumpopo also winning for, for their use of cow dung yes. um, to, to do wonderful things and, and to power a gas stove. Um, just tell us uh, about the, some of the, the competition they, they came up against in the Philippines. It must have been quite amazing and, and, and did you expect to actually, did they expect to win? Um, I think I think they expected to win, but they were not really sure because we went against uh, some really uh, tough countries like Nigeria, for example. They are selling they they in agriculture. They sell vegetables and fruits, and they use mm. an app to actually do uh -huh. that. Those are some of the people that were there. So for them, it was really challenging, but yeah, they were they were excited about it, and they they knew they were going to win. So. To bring us your medal, to bring us your gold. Yeah, we did come with the gold <laughs> certificate. <laughs> uh, oh, it was a certificate, not and a medal. medal well. And a medal as well. Okay. And what was it like for you, the experience of being in the Philippines and meeting other youngsters like yourselves who are trying to make the world a better place at the end of the day? It was extremely amazing because as a boy comes from a small town in Valgum, you never imagine that you'd actually ever leave South Africa. So being given the opportunity to leave it is extremely amazing. We got to do so many activities there. You get to meet so many young entrepreneurs who share the same ambitions as you and who are business-minded and you get to make lifetime connections as well. Um, we also got to learn about different cultures because there's different countries mm. there and we really got to experience a lot and it also opens your mind as a young person mm. to tell you that there's so much out there in the world and if you keep on working you'll actually get an opportunity to see everything out there. Now Tolo Hello, it's not just about the, the gold certificate and the gold medal. What other doors does a competition like this, does a project, a, a program like this open for youngsters like Junior? It, it opens a lot of doors for them because for example with uh, they had a, a, an NQF uh, level 5 course at the University of Free State where they did a training on entrepreneurship. It opens a lot of doors. I mean, at their age, to be going uh, to the World Cup and telling them about these ideas that they have with their confidence and also with their future plans, it, it really opens and it, it, it ex exposes them to what the world has for them. Mm. You know, and it really, I think, as you were saying also before we came to say, wow, so we're here, we're going to be on TV and everything. Oh. You know, well, you know, as a little <laughs> aside, you get to be on TV as well. The excitement <laughs> of, at my age, I'm achieving so much. The empowerment that they're getting because of opportunities like like this, I think it's really amazing. It's wonderful. It's our honor actually to have you on. I mean, you're doing really clever things as opposed to what you know we do. Yeah. Um, and uh, for somebody who wants to get involved in a program, for other youngsters like this, Tolo Hill, I mean, everybody's probably now wondering, how can I get involved? How can I get in touch with these people? What do they do? Basically, they can just go on our website, www.sagesa.co.za. All mm -hmm. the information is on the website. They can go on our Facebook page as well, uh, Sage South Africa. They can drop us an email, info at sagesa.co.za. Mm -hmm. Just ask, how do we join? and then there'll be uh, somebody to assist and take them through all the steps but everything is basically on the website so about how they join. 
Fantastic. Yes. So the, the other aspirant scientists out there, what next for you, Julia? I mean, where, where, where does this all go for you? You're going to start another project, you carry on or try, trying to make this one better, improve on it? Oh, definitely I will continue with this project because we've realized that water shortages are not only a South African problem, but it's a global issue as mm -hmm. well. So we'd like to continue with this project and not only help South Africa solve its water shortage problems, but also help the world itself mm -hmm. solve its water shortage problems as well. And then along the line, we might come up with something innovative too and solve yeah. another problem. And <laughs> <laughs> uh, what support do you give these two teams now, these, these pupils who are still in school? Where does it carry on for you in terms of your involvement with in them? In terms of our involvement yeah. with them, we continue with them, uh, with the curriculum, like as I mentioned already, mm -hmm. and then there's mentoring as well. Yeah. We continue mentoring them. They are being mentored by uh, some of our university students, actually who were in SAGE in the previous years. They came back and they say, how can we still be involved in this? So they mentor them, we monitor them, we monitor the progress, and then we also still continue to check up on them to end their studies as well, you know, to say, how are you doing with your studies, your future plans? We give them also career guidance and all all that stuff so yeah we continue with them we make sure that these people they go out there they shine they uh, fly the SA flag high and the stage flag as well well they've certainly done it well you've been you've been abroad but hopefully you're not going to take your talent abroad you're going to keep it and help definitely. people in your own country is that is that your plan <laughs> definitely you're stay here and do that definitely because we believe in mastering before expanding oh wow okay big business terms <laughs> all right thank you very much we all learn something every morning thanks very much and congratulations once thank again so and that's a teen Premiership development program project coordinator tolo hello Tlopo, and of course one of the winners that's a junior bankrum proudly sponsored by engine with us you are number one